Hello and welcome. This video is all about the trade shop. I'm going to go through uh, each of the options and show you lots of stuff that connects to the trade shop so that you can see the benefit of what it is and what it can do for you. So without further ado, I'll just jump right in. The three things that you have are crafting a black pearl chest, trade goods, and the info. In all my videos, I click on the info. Yeah, look at that. It, yeah, yeah, it's just descriptive. You know, nothing else. But uh, I'll go ahead and go to the craft black pearl chest. And that is very self explanatory. Uh, in this game, that really is a commodity. Uh, having a lot of black pearls, you can buy a lot of things with it. Uh, it is a chest that will give you a hundred black pearls. So for you to craft it, you have to kick in the hundred plus ten more black pearls and then of course the twenty uh, twenty logs that it requires to build the chest what you're looking at is it will cost you ten food ten seconds to make one thousand silver and you can increase the quantity of it um, just yeah okay it goes up to ten I wasn't sure how high it goes but uh, but now you know and of course you assign people to it uh, that are free and then they can get started on it so that's how it works but here's the thing why would you craft a black pearl chest it would be because you have the black pearls to spare and also you need the silver if you're trying to find a, a decent way to get silver in the game this is another avenue to try. Once you craft it, you can go to the market and you come down to consumables and other consumables. And you'll see right here at the bottom that the minimum that one black pearl chest goes for is 81 million silver, which is not bad since that is the equivalent of. Uh, maybe one or two orange gears uh, you know the first level of the orange gear but definitely uh, very nice a nice chunk of silver to get too so this is another reason why you would craft a black pearl chest and as you can see they go very quick everyone buys them up who who wouldn't you know I throw down that much silver uh, to get a hundred pearls of course not a problem the next one is trade goods so there's a lot to explain on this but the window you're looking at is uh, an object the resources it takes the time the food and the silver it takes to craft when you click craft it's gonna ask you who are you gonna assign to craft it and how long it will take so that's how this works the different things on the right here are delivery goods resources supplies furniture and products so I wanted to go into this part right here like the delivery goods let me get out of this and let me show you something so if we get out of our camp now this the reason why you would do this is to probably uh, make some silver or increase uh, you know your reputation with one of the uh, shopkeeps but in the top left corner here where it says Nell Capu and his icon that one or the next one below it Cali with the gift symbol we're gonna go visit those two just call my horse over here And what I'm trying to show you is that when you're here, as aside from him opening lock boxes from uh, the uh, merchant tree, that's what the treasure icon does, is the delivery or deliver. You click on that, and these are things that he's asking for. Uh, powder reagent, splendid bedside table, noble dress, it looks familiar. These are things you can craft. 
The dragon statue and the ominous black mercury, no, you, you don't craft those. But the bedside table and the noble dress, we did see that we can craft it. So that is uh, another way of getting silver in the game. If you have your people that, you know, you're good with resources, you're wondering what to do, uh, put them to work. Make them another avenue of uh, getting silver in the game. So they can craft these, you can come to them, and it looks like he just needs one, you know. But this is one option to get more silver. And then there's the other guy, Callie. So we'll just walk across the street to him. Now this guy, he, it's, uh... I guess I'm showing you this guy because uh, when you're trying to increase your reputation uh, with uh, shopkeepers uh, in every town, they increase it by receiving gifts. And these objects here are gifts. So I wanted to point him out. He's not directly connected to the uh, craft area, but since we're talking about objects, I wanted to throw him in anyway and say, hey, did you know this is what this person is for? And that's the gift. So it makes sense. Uh, why would you uh, increase uh, reputation with these shop people? Well, especially the uh, potion person. <laughs> if you're a person who's buying a lot of potions, you want to be really on good terms with uh, this person. And uh, so the cost of the potions might go down now normally you would see an option to uh, increase or their uh, liking to you but it looks like that's not happening for this shop person but just be aware that there are people that are probably in this list like uh, this person right here the lich lichy in the top left corner with the green circle that means that there is a quest you can do that repeats so this person can help you but I'm getting away from the shop so we're gonna get back to it there is another reason why you would uh, come over here to the trade shop and that is the collection now if you click on the bottom left or tap on the bottom left corner where it says weekly special collection these three that you're given every week it resets every week you'll notice when you go into it and say hmm, how about this last one there you go skilled carpenter I've only completed one of the four objects that it needs and look at that it needs things I can craft so it even gives you a button to access your crafting window. I need to craft a sturdy wardrobe. It just wants one. So you click the button, and look at that. It brings it up. Who are you going to assign to it? Boom. Now, why would you do that in the collection window? Well, because if you complete all of this and you craft all these objects, in the above uh, where the it says third collection you're gonna receive 250 restoration scrolls this is very helpful when you are trying to upgrade your epic gear uh, the awakened gear from level four five six all the way up to ten you're gonna need restoration scrolls by the truckloads so they're trying to help you out by saying here do these simple things, craft these things, we'll throw you 250 to add to your pile. So this is another reason why you would want to do uh, crafting. Now, when you can, uh, if, it's, if it makes sense, maybe one person to craft while the rest are getting resources and part of your merchant tree, it's dividing up all the people you have uh, so that it just makes sense so that is how the trade goods window works we saw the delivery goods even the powdered reagent excuse me the powder reagent that the uh, guy was looking for 
and everything else just resources supplies all of this connects to the collections window and what they're looking for also if you dive deep into the game when you're doing merchantry and you see that there are certain merchants that are looking for specific things you can come back to your craft trade goods window and maybe plan on it you you can all right i'm going to make a hundred of this uh it sells well in the next city so go drop it in my wagon go into merchantry and uh, go sell it for a good amount of profit that is a lot of detailing that you would have to sit down and write out and figure out if it's worth it in silver um, many of us probably don't go that far but it's another part of the game for you to explore if you wanted to and that's it that's how the trade shop works I hope you enjoyed the video and it shed some light on uh, why you would work with this. So to that I say, have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.